The English term Jew originates in the Biblical Hebrew word Yehudi, meaning, from the kingdom of Judah, or Jew. It passed into Greek as Iodeos and Latin as Iudeus, which evolved into the Old French Giu after the letter D was dropped. A variety of related forms are found in Early English from about the year 1000, including Iudea, Gyu, Giu, Iuu, Iuw, and Iew, which eventually developed into the modern word. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Yehudi in the Hebrew Bible According to the Book of Genesis, Judah, Yevda Yehuda was the name of the fourth son of the patriarch Jacob. During the Exodus, the name was given to the tribe of Judah, descended from the patriarch Judah. After the conquest and settlement of the land of Canaan, Judah also referred to the territory allocated to the tribe. After the splitting of the United Kingdom of Israel, the name was used for the southern kingdom of Judah. The kingdom now encompassed the tribes of Judah, Benjamin and Simeon, along with some of the cities of the Levites. With the destruction of the northern kingdom of Israel Samaria, the kingdom of Judah became the sole Jewish state and the term Yudi, Yudi was applied to all Israelites. When the word makes its first appearance in writing in the book of Esther, its meaning has already expanded to include converts to the Jewish religion as well as descendants of Israelites. The term Yehudi, Yehudi occurs 74 times in the Masoretic text of the Hebrew Bible. The plural, Yehudim, Hayavdim first appears in 2 Kings chapter 16 verse 6 where it refers to a defeat for the Yehudi army or nation, and in 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 18, where it refers to the language of the Yehudim. Yavdi. Jeremiah chapter 34 verse 9 has the earliest singular usage of the word Yehudi. In Esther chapter 2 verses 5 to 6, the name, Yehudi. Yehudi has a generic aspect, in this case referring to a man from the tribe of Benjamin. There was a man a Yehudi Jewish man in Shushan the capital, whose name was Mordecai the son of Jer the son of Shimei the son of Kish, a Benjamite, who had been exiled from Jerusalem with the exile that was exiled with Jeconiah, king of Judah, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had exiled. The name appears in the Bible as a verb in Esther chapter 8 verse 17 which states, Many of the people of the land became Yehudim in the generic sense, Midiahadim Midiahadim because the fear of the Yehudim fell on them. In some places in the Talmud the word Israel ite refers to somebody who is Jewish but does not necessarily practice Judaism as a religion. An Israel ite even though he has sinned is still an Israel ite. Tractate Sanhedrin 44a. More commonly the Talmud uses the term B'nai Yisrael, i.e. Children of Israel. Israel. Being the name of the third patriarch Jacob, father of the sons that would form the twelve tribes of Israel, which he was given and took after wrestling with an angel, see Genesis chapter 32 verses 28-29, to refer to Jews. According to the Talmud then, there is no distinction between religious Jews and Secular Jews. In modern Hebrew, the same word is still used to mean both Jews and Judeans of Judea. In Arabic, the terms are Yahudi (sg), Al Yahud (place), and Banu Israel (Banu Isril). The Aramaic term is Yudai. Topic: <laughs> Development in European languages. The Septuagint reputedly a product of Hellenistic Jewish scholarship and other Greek documents translated Yehudi, Yehudi and the Aramaic Yudai using the Koine Greek term Iodaios Greek, Iodaios place. Iodaioi Iodaioi, which had lost the H sound. The Latin term, following the Greek version, is Iudaeus, and from these sources the term passed to other European languages. The Old French Giu, earlier Juu, had alighted dropped the letter D from the Latin Iudaeus. The Middle English word Jew derives from Old English where the word is attested as early as 1000 in various forms, such as Iudias, Gyu, Giu, Iuu, Iuw, Iew. The Old English name is derived from Old French. The modern French term is Juif. Most European languages have retained the letter D in the word for Jew. Etymological equivalents are in use in other languages, e.g., Jude. In German, Judeu. In Portuguese, Jode. In Danish and Norwegian, Judeo. 
in Spanish, Jude, in Dutch, etc. In some languages, derivations of the word Hebrew are also in use to describe a Jew, e.g., ebrio in Italian, ebri, abrani Persian, bri brani in Persian and evrei, yevri in Russian, see Jewish ethnonyms for a full overview. The German word, Jude, is pronounced, judi, the corresponding adjective, Judish, jyd, Jewish, and is cognate with the Yiddish word for, Jew, yid. Modern use In modern English, the term, Israelite, was used to refer to contemporary Jews as well as to Jews of antiquity until the mid-20th century. Since the foundation of the State of Israel, it has become less common to use, Israelite, of Jews in general. Instead, citizens of the State of Israel, whether Jewish or not, are called, Israeli, while, Jew, is used as an ethno-religious designation. Antisemitism The word Jew has been used often enough in a disparaging manner by antisemites that in the late 19th and early 20th centuries it was frequently avoided altogether, and the term Hebrew was substituted instead e.g. Young Men's Hebrew Association. Even today some people are wary of its use, and prefer to use Jewish. Indeed, when used as an adjective e.g. Jew lawyer or verb e.g. to Jew someone. The term Jew is purely pejorative. According to the American Heritage Dictionary of the English Language, 4th edition 2000, it is widely recognized that the attributive use of the noun Jew, in phrases such as Jew lawyer or Jew ethics, is both vulgar and highly offensive. In such contexts Jewish is the only acceptable possibility. Some people, however, have become so wary of this construction that they have extended the stigma to any use of Jew as a noun, a practice that carries risks of its own. In a sentence such as there are now several Jews on the council, which is unobjectionable, the substitution of a circumlocution like Jewish people or persons of Jewish background may in itself cause offense for seeming to imply that Jew has a negative connotation when used as a noun. In much the same manner, the Yiddish term for Jew, id yaid yid, singular, yid and yidn, plural, originally a benign term, was once used as an ethnic slur, but now is often used by Jews in praise, to describe an upstanding religiously observant Jew e.g., he's such a yid, giving up his time like that or to distinguish upstanding religiously observant Jews from non-observant, with the implication that the latter would be better people if they were stricter in their observance e.g., Yidn wouldn't do such a thing. Topic. See also. Jewish ethnonym in various languages. Iodioi Greek. Topic. References. <references>